Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your Delightful Crafter. So, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, and there have been some requests. And since I got three new ones in today, I thought it was the perfect time to do a, <clears throat> a demo review of glass dip pens. Those of you who've been around a while know that I adore them. Um, they are a lot of fun, and... Um, so I'm going to show the three that came in today, give a demonstration. I am going to let you know that some of them will not work properly because um, I have to, I haven't fine tuned the tips on them yet. And that requires a wet dry sandpaper and I just haven't done it yet. Um, I keep, always keep them packed away in their boxes to keep them safe but I did purchase a special cabinet that I'm going to line to store them in so it's easier to access. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell. If you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Warning, this is probably probably going to be a long video because I'm going to demo them all just so that you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, some of them working right off the spot, others not. And um, hopefully you enjoy them and fall as in love with them as I am. Because um, I do. I love them. I'm always on the hunt um, for new ones. There's a artist in Germany who makes one of a kinds and unfortunately because of the covid situation germany is not shipping anything out of the country so the seller is going to update me when she can ship and then i've got a couple that i'm hoping are still available um when that time comes you can find glass dip pens anywhere i've seen them as cheap as like five dollars I've seen them as high as three to four to seven hundred dollars, and those are the handmade ones. Um, quite a few of mine are in the thirty to forty dollar range a piece, and um, I will. Well, they were when I bought them. And they're kind of coming back again, so the prices are coming down a little bit. So, um, yes. Yeah, so we're gonna see what came in today. So these are the three. Uh, this one I got. And if you can see it, um, let me get. Because I'm going to be writing all over that one. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a jellyfish. And it turns out I already have one. But I am keeping both because they look different. I'm sorry, I pulled it off screen. So there's that one. And I think this is the other one. No, that's my favorite. Uh, where are you hiding? Maybe you're this one? Yeah. This is the new one. This is my first one. And... This is definitely prettier than the new one. There's a definite uh, fuller body to the jellyfish's, I guess, body. Here's the new one. Actually, they're not the same. So this one is a red with blue tail, and this one's a blue with a red tail. Or orange tail, not red. So they are different, so yep. And if you notice... The nib on this one is longer. These are, even though you can find tons of these, every one is handmade. So no two are ever going to be the same. Um, I'm going to put this one away for now. And seriously, they are so much, wait, is, is this the right box? Maybe this is the box. Had the boxes mixed up. Or not. Well, darn. 
Okay. Anyway, not all dip pens when you buy them will come with ink. And honestly, the ink that comes with it is not the best ink. Um, there's quite a bit out there. There's Roar and Klinger. There's J. Herbin. Um, this is a really good um, ink, a uh, Windsor and Newton ink. And it's not too expensive, but it's not cheap either. Another really good brand is Noodler's Ink. I only own one of those, and it's an invisible ink right here. So when you write, it's invisible. And then when you put it under, a, I think it's a black light. I can't remember. But it, glow, it literally glows in the dark. It is really neat. Um, this one is called... Is this one called... What's this one? Here, we'll open it up and find out. I'm not going to demo this one just because um, this one's called the Blue Ghost. And this one glows in the dark. It's pretty cool. As you can see, it looks like apple juice. So when it goes on the paper, you can't see it until... Yeah, see, they're showing a demo. On white paper, during white light, you can't see anything. But under a black light, um, it glows in the dark. So, anyway, like I said, we're not going to demonstrate that one because I'm not, I have a black light, but I'm not digging it out. <laughs> Anywho, so there's this one. Oops, do you hear the glass? The next one I got, these two are the same, they're just different colors. Again, let me pull this back out. I should probably use white paper, but still... This one's like a lavender to a blue with gold flecking. Through. I need white paper. Mm. Hold on. Do I have? Yeah, I have some white. I just don't want to mess it up. Sorry. Ugh. All right. Come here. way you can hopefully I don't know why the light the lighting is really bad today um but anyway so this one is like a lavender to blue with the gold flecking I think you can see it right there and then this one is a turquoise to I want to call it like a soft mauve and again this has the gold flecking in it as well and you can see that a little better in this one. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then we're also going to discuss the tips because you're going to notice um, completely different tips on all of the pens. I'll keep that there because we're going to use that quite a bit. So there are those three. So we're going to start with these three. Then we'll move on to my other pens. Um... Because some of them are like really, really pretty. The one that I was trying to order on Etsy is my most expensive. No, is it? My Roar and Clinger, I think, is the one I've paid the most for so far. Um, this other one, I think, is 45 that I'm wanting. And it is so gorgeous. There's also another artist on Etsy. She has, she's in Canada. And she's actually moved and she's resetting up her glass shop and forge. And, um, hopefully she, she's supposed to reach out to me when she set back up because, um, she makes some beautiful pieces too. I will try and hunt down one of her videos on YouTube because she actually has a video showing her making one of her pens and using it. And it is wonderful. Her name is Janelle. I can't think of her last name. Her name, her first name's Janelle. And again, I will put a description to her. Um, video down in the description so if you want to go check that out later so let's get started I don't I didn't get a big cup out I just got a little plastic dish for the water something to clean my pens off and I know some of you have seen this before some of you have not and um, some have actually asked for another demo and like I said since I happen to get new ones in I thought this was a perfect time. So we're going to clean the tip off a little bit. Um, your tips 
have grooves on them. Some of them may be straight, some of them may like twist around the nib, and those are called furrows, and that's what holds your ink. So when you dip, as you're writing, the ink flows down the grooves onto the paper. So here we go. Let's see, let's get to where I can write. Sorry. Ah, oh, it's been a while since I've played with these. I do, they're, they're so pretty. All right, please write on the first go. Um, oh, there we go. Hi there. My name is Rochelle. I don't know if you can hear it moving across the paper. Now this is um, not the right paper to be using. So if you see, there's gonna be, um, what do you call it? The ink kind of moves out. Um, but again, this is not the right paper to be using. It's, this is a watercolor paper, and so it's going to soak it up and kind of spread. But it's what I had out. I've already used the other side, and for demo purposes, I wasn't going to pull out anything else. So here's this one. Um, with this dip, I can almost fill up the whole page, but we're not going to do that. All you have to do is dip it in the water and then clean it off. And it's good to go. This one did not come with the cover. Not all of them will come with the cover on the nib like this one does. Um, and these came, these three came from the same company. So just so you know, it's a Pandora, P-E-N, I believe D-O-O-R-A. I'll put a link down them to the description. There's, cause some of y'all have asked in the past, um, another place I look, I look on Amazon. I look on AliExpress, and some of the ones I've gotten from AliExpress have been really nice. I can't remember which ones they are, um, so I can't help you with that. But, so, you're going to, come on off. If you see, this is a totally different looking nib. Here, we'll pull you back out. Totally different. Um, but we're gonna find out. Um, hopefully this one is a good one that writes on the first go and I don't have to fine tune it later. Uh, when you dip it, you always wanna try and rub it off the side of the jar to get excess. If you have too much ink, it's gonna pull straight off onto the page. So, Oh, very good. My channel is the delightful. These write really nice. I am very happy with these. I do think I paid around, I think, I'll have to go book, look later. I think I paid around $20 a piece for these particular pens. Um, let's see. My kitties are Karma and Pancake. And then my son's kitty's here and she is Mustache. So, and I can keep on going. I could almost write an entire letter with this one dip. Isn't that beautiful? And they feel so nice in the hand. Um, some of them out there, the weight, um, I like my weight here. Some of them may feel heavy in the front. Some may feel heavy in the back. Um, sadly, you can't, you know, obviously if you're ordering online, you can't try them out. Um, they are glass, so don't drop them. Don't press hard. You can't do like calligraphy. You can do calligraphy with these, but it's a matter of getting your right strokes and then adding extra and filling in, but it's not a traditional calligraphy pen. So there's this one. And then the other one that I got today is this pretty one with the mauve and blue. 
Again, we're going to dip it, clean it off a little bit. Um, you want to do that when you get a new pen because they can still have like contaminants on them from when they're made because they are made in fire. So I wasn't sure how I was going to like these nibs, but I'm really liking them. And they're right off the bat. I feel like my craft room <laughs> will never be done. So I really hate this because I'm like, I feel like I'm wasting my ink. Um, a lot of professional um, calligraphy cal calligraphists, I don't know what they're called, they get these to test their ink um, because when you're using a tr traditional dip pen or a fountain pen, if you put the ink in it, then you have to clean it out. And this is just a quick, you know, dip, right, rinse, and then you're on to the next ink. Because some of them will get lo lots of ink. Kind of like how we swatch out our, our stamp ink, they swatch out their dip ink. So, um... So yeah, anywho, so there's that one. I am so happy with these. They are even prettier in person. Um, I'm trying to keep them in their boxes, but put away. At the end, I'll try and do a, like, so you can see them all. But I know last time I couldn't get them all in the picture. So I, I hope you understand. I have quite a few. I'll set those there. Now this is my Roar and Klinger. This is made in Germany, um, a Glasstreiber. I used to speak German. I was good at it. I went to school at a gymnasium uh, as a teenager because my dad was stationed in Germany. And the high school I went to had a partnership with the local town in um, Kaiserslautern. And I was able to go to the German high school for a semester. Let me tell you, Queen's English, I thought I was going to ace English at the German school, high school. Yeah, I got a B. Um, Queen's English is very different from American English. So just letting you know. Anywho, we're going to go on to this one. This one I love. It is so pretty. And three of my favorite, including this one, they kind of look the same. And you're going to, you'll see this, you'll see soon. Look at this. Look at how beautiful that pen is. Not only are they utilitarian, they're little pieces of art. And I don't think it's going to show in the video, but there is one stripe of gold flecking that goes all the way around to the base or to the tip. It is, I just love it. Okay, this was one of my expensive pens. All right. My favorite hobby is 3D art. Love, love, love. Oh, yay. This is just another reason. Oh, no, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. See, now I need to start building up my, my um, ink colors. Honestly, this is the only color I have right now. But, well, I have the colors that come with some of them. But, again, it's not a good ink. So, um, I really don't use them. I guess I could to play with. Like I said, I do keep them in their cases because they are glass. This is my J. Herbin. These are a really nice one. You can find these at a decent price on Amazon or just look around. They come in other colors. There's some other shapes. These can be anywhere from, I think, 20 on up to a lot of money. That's all I'm going to say. Come on. Now, if you look at this one, this is like 
a plum color and it's the body is square here and then it twists down the bottom I don't mind it it's got this I can't remember this has I can't remember what this is called here but this is where I like to hold it um, you may want to hold it back here uh, don't hold down here or you're going to be getting ink on your finger so just putting that out there um, let's see Corona. See, I got to get the sweet. There we go. Sucks. Big. Trying to be funny, guys. Um, so like I said, even though this is one of my more expensive ones, most pens, they have what's a sweet spot. And so you might start off writing and it's not going to write. So you'll just have to twist it a little bit. And I was writing on this side, so if you could see this well, the ink drained here, but the the ink over here is still full. Um, sorry, I don't have good handwriting, so. I feel guilty wasting all this ink. Anyway, so that's my J. Herbin, or Herbine, however you want to say it. All right, we did that one. I think, is this one my favoritest? No, but that's one of my new ones. Here, we'll do this one and then I'll show you my favorite favorite. I can't remember where I ordered this one. I would have to go, um, I think I bought it off of Amazon, I can't remember. Is that not gorgeous? So pretty. Oh, love it, love it. This one has a very thick body. Um, it feels really awesome in the hand. Normally I don't like thick pens, but uh, anyway. And on this one, the nibs kind of go like up and down and then straight where like the other ones kind of actually swirled all the way around. It just depends on the artist that's making it. Um, oh, where are we at? Find the spot. Oh, let's see. Maybe I have to fine tune this one. You can't, you can't write like straight down. You have to write off to the side. And I'll be honest, this one I haven't tested and I'm probably gonna have to do some tuning to the tip. Um, Cause it is not coming off. So Note for future reference, I have to do some work on the tip of this pen. And it looks like some of the blue glass is in the tip here. Because it looks like there's ink, but there's not. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like there's blue on it, but so I think that's blue glass that's inside the tip. Or maybe there's ink in there. Shoot, I don't know. Okay, well, see, just so you know. All right, so there's that one. So let me get it tucked into its little bed. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up some sandpaper. All right, so there's that. Here is my favorite pen. But I, I, I do not like the nib on it. I, I, the nib to me is so ugly. It's got a fishtail. Is that not cool? All right.
right. Now, if you notice on this one, the furrows are straight. They are not um, twisted like we have seen on the other pens. And I'll be honest, I have not tested this uh, pen. So let's see. This is going to be a fine point. Come on. Hi there. My wonderful. Subbies. So this is a very fine point and I guess I got ink on my finger. Lovely. So that's the first time I'm using this one, and this one feels so good in the hand, too. I'm loving it. So, we have had some pretty ones. I have, so my friend Artsy Ashley, over on Artsy Ashley here on YouTube, um, she, I have to figure out which one it is. She, um, I could have sworn I just had a, a tip on this, or maybe not. I thought I had a cover on the nib. Where did I stick you? Well, I guess not. So we'll just cover that back up, stick it over here. One of these she found and I ordered it right away. I'm not going to demo this one because you did see it in the other color combination. But again, that was another of the jellyfish. I have quite a few of these because, like I said, they are... Okay, this one I bought because I am a Florida Gator. And orange and blue, or I should say this one is blue and orange. But um, this one, you have to hold up here because while the body of the pen is beautiful with all the swirl work, it can kind of not be very comfortable to hold. see um, I miss my sweet El Suave I found a video of him the other day he was just being a little doll baby I miss him so much so another beautiful pen um, there are so many out there. Uh, is this the box? Yeah. It's going to be hard for me to show these all to you. And make sure they go back into the correct boxes. Um, they take up two drawers on one of my, um, Alex units. Okay, this was one, this company is called Art of the Book, and that's A-R-T-E of the Book. And I'm going to have to go check them out again. Um, but here is this one. We have red with some white and yellow striping on it, like blooms. I call them blooms. Again, don't be too, put too much pressure on these. Um, I don't know what to write. Loving all the challenge entries. Um, if you don't like the sound of nails across the chalkboard or stuff, you might not like these because they do have a, like you hear it grinding across the paper. Of course, this is a watercolor, so it's uh, more coarse 
than um, other papers. But you're always going to feel that. Um, it's not going to feel like writing with a ballpoint pen. Um, that's just something you're going to give up for having something unique to play with. Um, this is, this pen I think is, I've gotten this I think since Christmas. I can't remember. This one, I, um... I think I paid 35 for this one. It's it's unique. It's not as elaborate as some of my other ones. I do gosh darn it. Um it's not as elaborate as some of the ones I've already shown you, but it is very pretty. I love this little purple ball here at the back. Let's see some channels that I follow. Um, Art C. Ashley. Um, my friend P on Whimsical Endeavors. I think I spelled that right. Sorry, P, if I spelled it wrong. Um, I think it's D E A. <laughs> um, K is for Karen. This couple, I love to follow them. They are called D I Y If Errant, I think is how it's spelled. D I Y F F E R E N T. So instead of different, it's D I D I Y different, if that makes sense. They are kind of like off-grid they're completely remodeling their mobile home but the way they're doing it i just love how they're doing it they're and they're doing it by themselves um they homeschool um i i think they just moved they moved i can't remember if they said they moved to michigan or minnesota completely different locations <laughs> but uh anyway so there are those feels this one feels amazing in the hand uh, I'm gonna let you know a lot of these ones that you order they they do come from China um, they take a while to get here um, art of the book I know is here in the US um, the one I told you in Canada Janelle um, she's in Canada uh, the one there's the one in Germany. There's two that I'm looking at in Germany. But most of these come from China. Just letting you know. All right. Let's see the next one. Okay, this is one of my first ones. To me, it's not one of the prettiest. It's a really soft, like, peach body. And then it's got this bulbous uh nib on the front and it's a straight they're straight furrows and um, i know one of these doesn't work right i have this in a couple of colors i just can't remember which one it is that isn't writing correctly um my husband's dog is a blue healer and his name is buddy so, yeah, like I said, this is not my prettiest handwriting. I'm just trying to be fast so we can get through. We're already, oh my goodness, already at 30-something minutes. You know what? We're not going to demo all these. I'm just going to pull them out so that you can see them. Um, and this is because this has been requested. Um, here. Let's pull this out of the way. Put this down because I don't want the ink all over the place. All right, so there's that. Then, okay, this one is really pretty too. This is supposed to be like a galaxy effect, and I was a little disappointed because, um, 
the galaxy effect is only on one side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a really pretty, you see that like blue flecking in there? And then it's black down the middle? Well, it's only on that one side. So I was really bummed about that one. But it's still pretty. So there's, let's put the pretty side up. All right. Um... I'm not gonna be able to put them all out because it's just they won't fit and then I can't keep track of what box they came out of okay this one is pretty too love this one something I need to point out because I haven't and it's been in some of the boxes not all of them will come with these they're called I call them pillows uh, basically, you see how that's kind of rolling around there? The last thing you want is for it to roll off your desk and fall and break. So, or to lay it down and ink get over your project. So basically, that is so you can rest your pen and the ink stays on the nib and it's not rolling around the place and going to fall off your, your desk. So, there's this one. If you can see it, this is orange, green, and blue stripes that spiral down the body of uh, the pen. I think I'm going to do four at a time and that way I can get them put away. All right, this one matches that one. This is just a really pretty green. We'll set that there. Um, and I think this one writes absolutely beautifully. Um, but it's just, I don't know. I, I don't like writing with these, and I don't know why. So, all right. So, there are those four. I have a couple that you guys are just going to get a chuckle out of. And most of them come packaged nicely. You know, they've got a foam insert. And then one that goes on the top so it's not shaking around your box. I think this one goes in here. This one came with a little pillow rest and a little bottle of the cheap ink. Um, looks like it came with purple. And there. Okay, so there are those. Which one is that? Oh, that's the yellow one. Okay. This one was a big set. And you can find these sets. And this one came with a green, a red, a black, and a yellow ink. And it even came with a little bowl to put your water in. If you look, it's got like little green leaves on the side. And then it also came with uh, the pillow rest. And this one's really pretty. It's got um, red and sil this red, and then it's got silver flecking in it. So we'll set that down there. Okay, yeah, this is a pretty one. This one is uh, like a periwinkle blue, a black, and a pretty gold that spiral down the body. I told you I have quite a few of these so this one is the same style but this is like an amber color with the silver flecking down the body and this one did come with the pillow rest and some of them come with these little glass balls and I have no idea what they're for but they're like a little pendant a little charm so something I can use on another project someday all right, there's three, and then this one. Oh, no, I'm going to save that one because that's a fun one. That one, um, Artsy Ashley found, and I went out and bought right away. This is, oh, nope, can't show that one either. We'll do this series next because they're cute. Okay, stop it. 
this one is absolutely gorgeous. This is like a really soft, I want to say mauve, like a red mauve. I don't know what color to call it, but it's like a double spiral. And then the body goes from a smooth body down to this spiral body. All right. So there are those four. Okay. And, and I know this is dragging it out. Um, but again, I've had requests to see them all. I've had requests for the demo. And um, I just, because they're glass, <laughs> I don't want to have them all out at the same time. Because with my luck... I would drop something or bang something and then I would be heartbroken. So you can find these sets. Like I said, you can find these sets on Amazon. You can find them on AliExpress. And like I said, I've had good experiences with the ones that come from AliExpress, but keep in mind that when they come over, they're in these boxes and they're wrapped in bubble wrap and then they're just put in soft mailers. And so sometimes, let me see, like I'll show you this box. When I saw this box, I was just heartbroken. I just knew I was gonna open this up and this pen was gonna be shattered. This has that, this is another one of those galaxy ones. But again, as I've told you, the Galaxy ones, they only have this uh, mica flecking on the one side that spirals down the body. It's not all the way around. So see black and then pretty. Black and then pretty. But check this one out. The little pillow rest is a little fishy. He's even got little eyeballs. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> He's super cute though. Some of them have flowers. I mean, like gorgeous, like they almost look like flower bouquets. And um, there are some other pens out there that I'm looking at getting, but they're not at the top of my list. And they actually look like bouquets. The pen looks like a bouquet of flowers. This one, I believe, was this one was sent to me. And this is one of the ones that was found in um, Tuesday morning. Some of these were found in Tuesday morning. Uh, and they all, Tuesday morning also has actual dip pens, the ones with the metal nibs on them. So if you look, the ones in Tuesday morning, they're, uh, very different. They are a lot shorter. I believe this is from my friend P. So, um, but they are beautiful. This, I saw one in a store one time and I didn't buy it. And when I went back, it was gone. And then I guess P found this and um, she sent this to me in a goodie box. So there's that one. There is this one. This is similar to one that I showed earlier, but the pink is a different shade. So there's that. And then I'll show this one and then I'll show the, the other fun ones. Okay. This is a real pretty one. This one came with one of those little, remember I said the little jewels or whatever, with the little lavender one. And this is a real pretty blue with the silver flecking down the body. So super, super pretty. Let me get these put away. Um, well, darn it. Oh, this one came out of here. I guess I did something with the ink that was in there. Hmm. And then that. Now, the last four. I think you guys are going to get a kick out of these. Ready? Is that not adorable? It's a little smiling kitty cat. 
and I have it in the peach. This pretty blue. They're just smiling away. And I think this is a green. No, this is a pink. So peach, blue, and pink. Here, let me show you smiling at you. There you go. There's that one. And then the last one. And you'll know why I saved it for last. I need to order this in the pretty pink. It's a flamingo. Tell me that is not adorable. Um, I need to order. I was going to order it this week, but I couldn't remember if I had the pink or the orange. This is the orange one. I'm just smiling at you. So you can just Google like glass dip pens you can go on amazon and like i said search glass dip pens the same thing on aliexpress i haven't checked wish but i'm sure you can find them on wish um if you want to give them a try i would say go for one of the cheaper ones um, and again if it doesn't write off the bat you know don't be afraid there are um you know you got to turn it until you find the sweet spot on the tip of the nib. Um, and even so, of all the ones here, there was just the one. And that was a new one I told you I got that um, I, I hadn't tested when I got it. Um, so even if it doesn't write, don't be angry. Don't throw it. You may have to get um, some wet dry paper. You would dip your pen in water and then just kind of rub it lightly and turn it as you're rubbing it off let me show you while you're you know rubbing it on the 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 sandpaper you're going to turn it the whole time and then then test it if you still can't get it right you know again just don't press hard because you will break it okay Anywho, and I haven't broken one yet, thank goodness. Um, my desk is wood, so we'll knock on some wood. Because with my luck, I wouldn't, and I'd break a whole bunch of these. Anyway, that is my long video on my glass dip pen collection. Um, when I start, um, because the the... The case that I bought to store all of these is like a, a natural wood and I'm going to paint it white and then I'm going to line the inside with felt so that the pens aren't rolling around and there's like a compartment for everything. Um, just so that they all stay safe and so that they are easily, I can easily access them instead of having to dig out two drawers worth of boxes to find a pen. So... I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. And I know I have 30. I just don't know where they're all at. And I have, I know two more on the way. And there's a couple like I'm eyeing. Um, some people might say, you know, that's enough. You don't need any more. But that's like telling somebody who, you know, loves ink. You don't need any more ink. Or somebody who loves stamps. You don't need any more stamps. You've got enough. Um, that's like telling crafters you don't need any more crafting supplies. So, you know. Um, and again, they're all different. And some of them are so unique. Anyway, I hope this finds everybody well. Um, I'm, I will have a couple videos tomorrow. I have been cleaning today um, while I've been able to clean. Um, I have, I've had my TENS unit on for the past day and a half. Um, I've had it on all day today. Let me tell you. This little sucker here. 
this teeny little thing, it packs a punch. And I can just tuck it in a pocket and just let it go. And I am, it feels so good. And I can change between different, uh, I guess you want to call it. This is supposed to be like massaging deals, but anyway, I love this thing. And it's made it possible for me to do a lot today, thank goodness. But I am, I'm hurting. But if I waited for my back to not hurt, nothing would ever get done. Anyway, I know some of y'all are very familiar with that kind of pain. Um, and I feel for you. Anyway, I hope everybody's okay. I hope you're finding um, stuff that if you're stuck at home, I hope you're finding stuff that... Um, is keeping you busy or entertained and um, yeah so I love you guys to pieces I hope you enjoyed my little I guess show and tell demo and like I said I'll put a link to some of the places that I have gotten my pens or look looking at getting some pens from once I'm able to and um, maybe you'll find something that you are in love with and like I said, don't, you know, read, you know, go ahead and get one of the like seven to $12 pens and try it out. And then you may get hooked and have to have, yeah, yeah. anyway, yeah. <laughs> With that, I love you guys to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.